Yo, what is up guys? For today we're talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at my first time doing Garden of Salvation. Now, I didn't record the whole thing because honestly, doing this raid took super long considering we have we had people dropping out and all this other shit. But let me just tell you right off the bat that I think this raid is actually a lot more fun than I gave it credit for. Uh I so First and foremost, the raid was awesome. I love pretty much almost all the encounters. A lot of them were a lot of fun. I think the tether system's fucking annoying, but at the same time, it's really cool. It's really weird. Uh, dude, honestly, if I had run this with my old clan, the amount of just fun we would have had is it kind of kills me because this was it was it feels like it was designed just to fuck with your clan and it's it, that's what kind of kills me is that like my clan mates will never play or, I, I shouldn't say never considering they might come back on the the september uh dlc but it just my guy it just kind of it kills me because we could have had a lot of fun doing this but now it's like i don't know so obviously i love the raid the raid was dope i liked it a lot uh if we're talking about like what's your favorite raid if it was my favorite raid it's not my favorite raid i think last wish is gonna be forever my my favorite raid because i did it with my clan at the time and it took us like four weeks to do it or some shit and it was just amazing like it was one of those like it was difficult and we persevered and we finished it and we did uh what's her face riven we did her like legitly before cheeses so it's just one of those like oh my god i can't believe we did it i think her like in destiny 2 she would be my favorite raid and then scourge of the past actually scourge and and crown of sorrow would probably be at this, like same i like uh crown of sorrow a lot but after that yeah then then it would be uh this one like i said it's not the like it's so weird because like last wish was obviously probably one of the dopest raids ever and then scourge is probably my second favorite then crown of sorrow and then garden of salvation uh i've only done garden once and that was like what was it? i think uh wednesday and today's sunday so i loved it a lot uh yeah this is pretty much it like the first encounter was dope it's really funny because i i was always stopping myself of trying the raid because like i have like super anxiety with with meeting new people and just like i didn't want to let anyone down so i was just like fuck it like i'll just do it like when my clan mates get on i told myself during shadow keep and now i'm in season of the worthy so i was like fuck it i'm just gonna do it now and thankfully i found a guy who was just like oh doing a gos will teach and i was like boom clicked on it immediately I needed divinity too so once uh i told him i was like can i can we get divinity if it's not too much of a pain in the ass and he's like no yeah for sure man we got you and it was great like we ended up doing it and it's funny because the guy like the original guy who was going to teach me he actually dipped like i don't know what happened he probably dc'd but he left and i was like fuck what the f and then i got sad because i was like well i'm probably gonna get kicked but now everyone's cool it's like no nah, don't worry man we'll teach you it's really easy and then i learned it and i was like oh my god this is so easy like I don't know why the fuck I was so nervous. So, uh, yeah, like, if you guys are nervous about learning a new raid, I promise you, I've been raiding since Destiny 1, uh, Dark Below. The only reason I didn't raid in, like, vanilla Destiny is because I didn't have a clan and I didn't know about the raid itself, actually, to be quite honest. I was very new to the game and I was just like, fuck it, whatever. So, if you guys are nervous about doing a raid in general, I promise you guys. It's not as bad as like you think it is, unless you're trying to do la a last wish legitly. Then that one's like the only one where I'm just kind of like, uh, it's not hard. It's just you can't fuck up. <laughs> but uh, so obviously, Garden of Sal Salvation, one of the fuck, one of the funnest raids I've done in a while. Uh, I could definitely see me and like probably my clanmates doing it without getting killed that's definitely something i would like to do to get the shader but <clears throat> i'm gonna i'm gonna go into a tangent real quick and just say this one thing and i kind of miss raids not having 
everyone do a job. I kind of miss hero moments. And the reason I say that is because in Destiny 1, we always had, we always asked someone like, all right, who doesn't, who doesn't want to like participate that hard? And the person who was like, oh yeah, I, I kind of don't want to fucking go all that hard on it today. Like I, I feel fucked up or something like whatever, you know, we were like, all right, cool. So you, you're just like the, the whatevers. And then everyone would pull their weight for that guy. You can't really do that in this game because everyone has a job and you have to do that job. It was just kind of a cool thing. Like, let's say I just felt like, like, oh, I don't want to do this raid, but like I need to be here or some shit at least like oh, okay like do you not want to do the raid that's fine just get in and we'll like we'll carry you like I miss that but on the other side I also miss the fact that when everyone was like trying to do the raid and everyone died but that one guy was still alive boom hero moment I love that shit that's mostly why I miss it because some of the hype shit you would do before like when everyone everyone died like oh no you gotta you gotta finish it you gotta finish it that shit was memorable my guy so there's a lot of things about i miss about destiny old destiny one raids and hero moments is definitely one of them and good weapons is definitely one of them i ended up getting two weapons from the raid which is the assault rifle and the pulse rifle and i can tell you 100 percent that both weapons Aside from the pulse rifle, because I feel like I could get a better roll, but I like the roll that I have. It, they're just like very like generic. They're like, oh, I, I could, I, I like, I could, I could get this on another weapon. Like, it's just really weird. Like, I don't know, man. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, I'm, I love, I loved Garden of Salvation. It was a lot of fun. Uh, the divinity is pretty cool. I, I haven't used it yet, but I love just the fact that I have the shader for it and I can, you know, do my thing with it. It was a lot of fun. I will probably never forget the experience because everyone in the in the team was just like, "Oh no, like it's funny cuz like we all got to a point where we, we kind of there was only one guy that I didn't like and I'm not going to say his name because I don't know if he's going to watch this video and I'm super paranoid. But Everyone else was super dope. I was hoping we'd be fr like be, uh, make friend requests, but honestly, ah, what the fuck ever. We're in the same Discord, so it's all right. But it's really funny because we were all like not getting super annoyed or anything like that. We were all like really positive because we. It's really weird because we were doing a lot of stuff, like all the encounters. We were like completing them in like one go. It was really weird and. Let me remind you, it was it was more than just me being new. We had a, a, a few other people being new, but a lot of us were just kind of like completing it pretty fast. So we, we felt confident. Like we were like, no, yeah, we'll get this. Like we we've been doing our shit. We know what to do. So when uh, one guy said, oh, maybe we should um, maybe we should have these four guys uh, be tether and then the other guys are going to do DPS. So after he mentioned that, we instantly completed it and it was dope. I was like, yo, like for real though, like the real, the real one is the one who, who said that. And it was cool. Cause everyone like was at the point where like, oh, we got, I gotta go. I gotta go eat. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta do this or that. And we beat that. And I, I don't know, man, like doing this raid reminded me of how cool LFG can be. Like that was, these are the moments that make LFG memorable to me the like after i finished this raid i started remembering lfgs from like destiny one granted i didn't do a lot of lfgs in destiny one considering i had a clan throughout the almost throughout the whole thing but i think the like one of the most memorable ones for me in destiny one was when i ended up doing crota with one guy uh from my from my clan and we we were like trying to figure out like oh what the fuck do we do and like it was really cool because at the moment we were like trying to figure out what to do and everything that was really cool and <clears throat> from there that guy who who like was in my clan he was like hey man you're pretty cool uh do you want do you want to get in my clan and i was like yeah fuck it sure and i got into his clan and then like you know fucking f years later i'm still for homies with them but unfortunately they don't play destiny anymore and destiny's kind of like my anchor game so for them to say, oh, we don't play Destiny anymore, it's kind of like, fuck, like, dog, this is my anchor game. This is the game that I always come back to. So, 
not saying I'm not still friends with them, but it's just hard. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the raid or any raid in general. What's your favorite raid? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. I especially love the people who actually watch my other content aside from Destiny 2 content, considering that Destiny 2 at the moment is pretty bland and I just can't put myself to make videos that just have nothing to do with anything. Like, yeah, just also be careful out there, guys. You guys know, know what's happening in the world, especially with like the sicknesses and the protests and the riots. Just be careful out there, guys. Uh, and yeah, I will see you guys later.